In this video, I will show you an example of a Pictolite setup and specifically how the new SE290A can improve the user experience. For a recent trade show, I created this Pictolite demonstration. I'll get into details on how it works in another video, but the user experience is this. You navigate to a picking website, for instance with a handheld terminal. You scan the start order QR code, which creates a picking list for the user. And the scanner has been configured to also tell the website its picking ID. Just a basic user, red, blue and green, so this picking list is owned by a certain user. Then the ESLs whose products need to be picked get an update from ESL Web Server, showing the quantity to be picked and the LED starts blinking for the user. Since I am user red, the LEDs are turning on in red and start to blink. The displayed image for each picking ESL also contains a QR code that can be scanned, which tells the picking website that the picking of that item has been completed. So that was the process of starting an order in real time. Now let me show you offloading using the scanner. So, there are three products to be picked. Let me scan the first one. And the row is highlighted in green on the website, which means that the pick of that item has been completed. Now, I can scan the other two as well. And the list is done. Now, in the background, the picking tool told the ESL web server that the ESLs can go back to their default screen with an updated stock level after the picked quantity has been subtracted. This means that once the ESLs pull the base station, an image transfer will begin. And there we go. Again, this is in real time. Now I like to think that this demo shows potential. But the offloading does take a little while before it gives you feedback on the ESL. Also, you need to bring a scanner to the ESL. That scanner needs a connection with the picking tool. And after scanning, you need to wait for the ESL to pull the base station before it updates the screen. And that is something where the new SEA series have an exciting advantage. The new SE290A with a black-white e-paper, as well as the new SE. 290ARY with a black, white, red and yellow e-paper have both been fitted with a button. Pressing the button makes this ESL turn on its radio and pull the base station telling it that its button has been pressed. The upshot of this is that once we scan an offload QR and we press the button to force a pull to the base station and the image update will take place practically immediately. The black-white is faster with updating the e-paper than black-white, red-yellow. So, for pick to light with an emphasis on high responsiveness, we would suggest using the black and white SE290A. If you want to use all four colors, that's perfectly possible. Just remember, it does take longer to update its e-paper. But a quick image update isn't the only thing. Like I said, the reason it pulls the base station is to inform it that its button was pressed. That is an event that the ESL web server's event handler can process. So we don't actually need a scanner for offloading anymore. In the setup I showed you, the picking website is told that an order pick took place because a QR code is scanned. We can also post the info stored in that QR code to the picking website ourselves using the event handler. Let's see that in action. Here is the event handler in ESL web server. If a button is pressed, I will post to the website of the picking demo on the endpoint perform action the following command. Pick followed by the barcode of the item we are picking, the quantity that we picked and the stock level before we started picking. This last section that I highlighted is what we placed in the QR code on the template. But instead of relying on a scanner to send that information to the picking tool, we will use the event handler instead. Let me give you a practical demonstration. I will start my picking order like I did before, by scanning a QR code to create a picking list. You can imagine this happening somewhere central, before heading into the stockroom. While we are heading there, 
our ESLs will get information from ESL Web Server that they are part of a picking order. They start updating their screens and LED, and pretty soon my entire picking order is ready to be collected. This is the same as before. But now we will do offloading with the button event handler instead. So I walk up to the picking location with both my hands free, I pick the item from the location, and when I'm done, I simply press the button. And boom, we're done. That is way faster. This immediate response on offloading gives clear feedback to the user. This improved user experience can also be carried over to other functions. How about a button that calls a waiter to your table in a restaurant? Perhaps you can think of a customer where this direct feedback could help make the choice for Opticon ESL stronger. If you like this Pictolite demonstration, join me in another video and I will give you a look under the hood to explain how it works in more detail. Thank you for watching, I will see you next time.